beer, please? You looking for me? You seem nervous. Why is that? Hi. Hi. Oh, so glad you're here. I brought you some new pajamas and let's see. Ooh, an advanced copy of Crimson's Fiction Find. It's Ooh. the March issue. I haven't read it yet, but editorial says it's amazing. Thank you. I could use a distraction. So, Lisa is up to her old tricks. What else is new? Now she's requesting a hearing with the hospital board. She's going to claim that I'm paranoid and that she can no longer work with me. Nobody is going to believe her. Yeah, she's psycho, but she's also very smart, and I have stupidly played right into her hands. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm going to take care of everything. Well, it looks like you have the infection under control for the moment. Robin has a zillion doctors taking care of her. What she needs is help with Lisa. Tell him. Lisa is trying to have Robin fired. She might actually pull it off this time. So you need to help. I will talk to the board on your behalf. You know that I think you're an incredible doctor. Can't you, like, embellish it a little? I mean, say you saw Lisa messing with Robin's car, or she tried to take Emma again? Maxie, that would be a lie. Okay, this woman is evil. And I'm running out of ideas. Okay, all right. You know I love you. I support you 100%. So what I'm about to say will help sway the board in your favor, and at the very least, we'll give you some peace of mind. That'll be a nice change. Go to counseling. <laughs> That's like asking Robin to say something is wrong with her. She needs to take responsibility for herself. It will demonstrate that to the board. Just go a few times, talk to them, work through your feelings with Lisa and Patrick. <clears throat> it will count in your favor with the board. It'll be a vote of confidence. And if it helps you deal with your hatred for Lisa, guess what? She's not going to be able to manipulate you anymore. You got it. Aren't you afraid that I'll misinterpret your generosity? Lisa, I apologize. In the past, I've led you on, and I'm sorry about that, and I'm sorry about everything you've been through. Shady Brook, all of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was a mistake with us sleeping together, and I feel like we've gotten past it, and Robin's the one who just won't let it go. What if I get Robin to back off? It sounds like you and Robin have been bonding over her problems. Is a reconciliation about to happen soon? The topic of my marriage is off limits. I'm sure you can understand. As of right now, we're focusing on Robin being healthy. At least my bringing the complaint to the board gives you guys a nice excuse to talk to each other. Look, Lisa, what if I get Robin to, to stay out of your way? To stop with the accusations? Well, that would be kind of you. Will you drop the idea of getting her fired? You know, I can do even better than that. I will act like Robin and I are best friends. If you sleep with me again. <laughs> okay, relax, Drake. I was only kidding about us sleeping <clears throat> Ugh. Well, I wasn't kidding about saying I'll do anything to fix my marriage, but sleeping with you is not on the table. What if, hypothetically speaking, uh, Robin can't get over what happened and forgive you? I mean, it's not that far-fetched. I mean, she's pretty tightly wound. What if nothing works? Where does that leave us? Whatever happens in my marriage, Lisa, it's not going to change the fact that Robin is the mother of my daughter. And I believe you when you said you didn't want to hurt Emma, so out of the sake of my daughter, will you please don't try and get Robin fired. If she loses her job on top of everything else, it's not going to be good. I'll think about it. And that's the best that I can do right now. I think there has to be an easier way to get Lisa out of the picture. 
We could frame her for devil worship and get her sent back to Shady Brook. <laughs> Imagine what a beautiful place this world would be if Maxie channeled her powers for good. Right. <laughs> I uh, have to make a phone call. Yes. Actually, that lab report, I gotta check it on. It's good to see you smiling. Yeah, well, Maxie drew a picture of Lisa wearing a devil horns and a straight jacket. <laughs> yeah, that'd make me smile too. <laughs> Speaking of Lisa, I just had a conversation with her, and hopefully, I convinced her not to go to the board. Well, she'll say whatever you want to hear to make herself look good. She wants to be the, the hero in all this. You're my hero, Robin. You're the only woman I love. I adore you. Look, I know you want to fix this, but guilt and regret are really bad things to build on. And I told you, I have to do this by myself. You were good in there. You made Robin laugh, which is hard to do these days. I was serious. Lisa and Shadybrook is a win-win. And it's a little scary how quickly you came up with that plot to frame her, so I have to keep my eye on you. <laughs> okay, look, you just did something that I couldn't. If I brought up therapy, Robin would have looked at me like I was crazy. You made it sound like a good idea. If she's going to invest in fixing her marriage, then therapy's a good place to start. Robin knows that. You know, for someone who's so in love with himself, you're very perceptive about people. Well, for an airhead blonde, you're quite introspective yourself. 